Hey, this is Matt from Nothing Face, and you're watching Digital Club Network, DCN.com. I really don't like computers. If I sit there in front of one for more than 20 minutes, you know, I want to break the thing. I don't know, maybe I've watched The Matrix and, you know, Terminator movies too many times. How do I describe Nothing Face's music? At that, music. It's a very aggressive form of music, and I, 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 I mean, I guess I would call us a metal band if we, if we had to be categorized, but um, I think... Uh, we're not just a metal band, we can do several different things, we're a melodic band as well, and I don't really want to be pigeonholed as a band that does one thing, because we won't always be heavy, you know, we won't always be melodic, you know, we'll kind of go everywhere, but there'll never be any hip-hop. What's our relationship with our fans like? Um, well, we, tr we try to be there for them as much as we can. You know, the, sometimes it makes it hard when you see a couple kids and you have to do something, you're on your way walking to do something, and you know, they, they want to talk to you and, and you don't have that, that 30 seconds to sit there and talk to them because you're walking on your way to do something. And that little innocent thing makes me feel worse than anything else, you know, because I, I, I know that a lot of the time the kids don't understand. We try to treat them like what they are, and what they are is our life. You know, we don't have anything if it's not for them. A few of them that there are now, but still, you know, it's everything in the world. We had one guy s sculpt my head. He made a, a bust of my head sitting in my parents' family room. Uh, these girls that keep making stuffed animals that are dressed like us are Christmas ornaments that say nothing face and have our pictures and strange things like that. The worst road story I can possibly remember. Oh boy. Man, there's a lot. But one in particular, we played uh, El Paso, Texas. And we were <coughs> excuse me, parked on the side of this club and the electrical system in the van died and all our windows were rolled down and everything. And once nightfall came, the whole wall that we were parked next to was covered with black widows, like at the base of the wall. There's thousands and thousands of them. So for the next uh, three, four days, we were picking black widows out of our van. And there's there a lot of other stuff I could tell you, but it might be legal stuff and, you know, it's bad. Anyways, <laughs> what's the best experience I've had? I'd have to say that the, the Irving Plaza show we played last time we were here that you mentioned you know that was the first time that we'd ever come to a club that's a thousand capacity plus and sold it out ourselves and that was a huge moment for us and that and getting the opportunity to, to sing with Max Cavalier and Soulfly because I was a huge Sepultura fan growing up um, I've, I've gotten to sing with with Al Jurgensen in ministry which is one of my favorite bands but th those kind of moments mainly when, when you're standing next to somebody that you've idolized your whole life and they look at you as a peer and they come find you backstage and call you by your first name you know that stuff's really really weird but it's even stranger when you walk out on stage there's a thousand kids out there that all know who you are and every single one of them knows your first name and that's and you've never met any of them that's really i mean the only way i could i you'd, ha you'd have to be in the position to really understand what it feels like it's, it's, it's extremely frightening, but at the same time, it makes you feel good. If you're trying to make it in this business, the only way it's going to happen is if you completely throw away every aspect of a normal life. You have to be completely obsessed with music and your music and what you do. And don't even think about having a girlfriend, a wife, children, or any of that. Because in the beginning of a band, that will do nothing but hold you down. And it has to be completely and solely about the music. And you have to be willing to sacrifice everything. It doesn't matter so much about the steps you make. Who you know, you meet people that can help you in time. You know, you get shows as time goes on. And if your band sucks, you're not going to go anywhere. It's just the way it is. But as long as you basically look at look at music as it's either music or death, you know, then I think you'll succeed.